what is taking place inside just by the tolling of the bell. Because there are times in our faith where the bell needs to be ring out loudly and there are times in the faith when the bell needs just to be told. If the Bible calls it, and not by its name, but it is termed as a high sounding symbol so that it gives off a song. It's a song that you can hear anywhere you are. During the service, you would see practitioners move, maybe two or three at the same time, depending on on on, on the service, on the on the mood of the service, to, to ring the bell. It is because um, at that time it it, it, it harmonizes the atmosphere. So that according to the hymn that is being sung at the time, um, as I said, the practitioner, all practitioners may move together and they will ring the bell. Um, in, 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 in such a way that um, it, it harmonizes what is happening, it harmonizes the atmosphere. It brings together the, 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 the hymn or the song, the, the mood of the people and everything comes together and blending as one. So that the bell is very significant in our worship. Very, very, very significant. The most elemental state of vibration is that of sound. Mm -hmm. Everything has an optimum range of vibration. And that rate is called resonance. When we are in resonance, we are in balance. Mm -hmm. And so one way to use sound and to heal the body and the mind and the spirit is to recognize that every organ and every cell and every you know, a part of our body absorb and emit sound and every part of our body every single part of our body has an optimum resonant frequency and this is what is happening with chants music singing and so on it's inescapable that's the way it is mm -hmm. yeah. and the same holds for the bell another misunderstood or, 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 or you know disparage concept when it comes to the Baptist. The bell is a perfect example of frequency. And the bell is not just, it's not a Baptist thing. It's a church thing that tunes in the human psyche with the spirit. It exhibits these frequencies and cause changes in the human person. It wakes up the spirituality. It makes human beings find a, little, a, a level of connection with God. It has to do with the balance of the mind. It has to do with mental processes, chemical processes. And when people hear Baptist people ringing up, they think it's nonsense. But this is not only about the Baptist church. Every church that you go to, you will automatically see a bell. You would hear a bell, but if the Baptists ring a bell, that is the Baptists being Baptists. They are two Baptists, and they are, that's a problem. So you have these nuances in Baptist uh, practices and rituals that are stronger 
or frowned upon and considered stupid or nonsensical. And it is only when the Baptist knew that it poses this problem. But if you do not have these things, if you do not have music, all psychologists know that music is of critical importance. All faiths know that music is of tremendous importance to, relation, to, to relating to God. In fact, the human voice is so central to connectedness with God. Singing, you know, is, is, is authorized and commissioned throughout biblical texts and other religious texts. If, if you check the, the Hare Krishna people and they chant, huh? it, 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 is, it is so important. You know, relating to this spiritual dimension in this particular way. But in the Baptist faith, it is considered, you know, in a, in a sort of way as the Baptist in one sense. And this society has to really get with it and study these things to be able to determine the level of benefits. And, and we have to raise the level of scholarship, for want of a better, a, a better directive, if we are to get anywhere or to, to make sense of... of of, of the world. And not only that, during the course of worship, during the course of prayers, when you use the bell, all right, it symbolizes that we are in the presence of Almighty God. Right? It indicates that yes, the Holy Spirit is around simply because you walk by inspiration. Nikola Tesla, the Serbian American inventor, he says, the earth rings like a bell. And whenever you are on the surface of the earth, you can tap into that song frequently and use it as an inexhaustible energy. For me, the bell speaks of a voice of one crying in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. I will use the bell to invite or to encourage the Holy Spirit in the church. I will use the bell as a means of letting the church know the Holy Spirit is here. Let us get up and do reverence to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The bell to me, means that God is here, mm -hmm. and I acknowledge Him by the use of the bell. The ringing of the bell in the religious realm calls to an alertness the mind that is straying at the, that moment, that particular moment. It, it brings the mind in a state of greater readiness to communicate with what the members of the, a particular faith will speak of as the creator. The bell is a call to attention and a call to spirituality. It's a very important one. We learned that the bell is a, a, a voice crying out in the wilderness, mm -hmm. prepare the way of the Lord, mm -hmm. make your path straight. All right. And even when you're about to keep service, you know the bell, it, it, it do something. You know, it, um, it, as it points for school, when you hear the bell, it means that you either form a line or you get yourself together. Church about to start when you hear the bell. It's time to get together to come into the house of the Lord to serve the Lord. And then again, when you severe the corners, to identify the corners, you, you use the bell. You know, which means that um, you, 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 you consecrate the spot. The corners, you use the bell also. Right? So whenever we hear that bell, it means that we, we, we suppose we should stop and listen what the message, what the message I bring. 
we are inviting as saints of God, you know, to come and take charge over the service. When you hear the bell, why is um, a hymn going to, um, you know, you're singing a hymn, you will hear the bell. And when you hear the bell, you shouldn't sit down. You who hear the bell, sometimes two, three people hear it one time. And you see, they get up and one person go and take the bell. Sometimes if it has two bells, you will see two people pick up the two bell and ring it. Because they hear the bell, not everybody will hear that. Calabash in our faith is one of the, I want to use the word vessels, that we would use and have been using for years, simply because it was created by God, that is one, from the earth. And it brings great significance, significance to us in the light of how we use it, when we use it. In our church, in the Spiritual Baptist Church, we use it as, um, in some cases, you see it all decorated with flowers and all like that. It's an earth vessel. And because we know that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, mm -hmm. we, take, we hold very dearly to our hearts that calabash. Because it came from a tree, it came from a desert, and we know for a fact from time to time we too as spiritual baptists we go to mother's earth what we will consider as mourning and fasting and from there we do get communication with that said calabash um, we must bring to mind that we are a afrocentric religion and um, the thing about it is that when our ancestors came to the shore they brought with them some of the things that they would have used and know and understand, and the calabash is one of them. So that the calabash, um, you will hear practitioners say um, it represents Africa, or, or it represents um, the African energy in the, in the faith. Which tells us that each person are on a different journey. The calabash symbols symbolize a different journey, mm -hmm. stating that each of us, all right, are on a different journey, mm -hmm. all right? It also indicates humanity, all right? And the life will take us in a different direction. Mm -hmm. The spiritual life will take us in a different direction. The, the calabash is God given, God made. Mm -hmm. The others mm -hmm. are made by man, mm -hmm. but the calabash is made by God. And as led by the Holy Spirit to the African, I will use the calabash to kneel and pray mm -hmm. and to offer myself to God and the libation from the water mm -hmm. of the calabash or the flowers even at times I will use that 
as offering myself, my spirit, to the Holy Spirit of God. Oh. So that calabash um, is a very important thing in the church, just as the lotus pot and the bell. It represents roots. It represents for for people of, of African origin in the faith. It, it it represents the roots of from from where we came, because it is associated with coming from the motherland. You let me say. Is the calabash trees on a tree that people plant. Nobody plants a calabash tree. Um, so, but yet you can find calabash trees growing here, there, and everywhere. So that it is a, a connection. It, it is something that, it is one of the vessels that connect us to the motherland and to um, the African energies. Water is peace. Water is life. Water is purity. Water is cleans cleansiness. Right? You severe water, you severe the corners with your lotus. You know, sometimes if someone have the calabash also, and they're going behind throwing the, the water in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Three persons but one God. Well, the water in the calabash indicates life. It also represents life, it can give life, and it can also take life. That's the representation of the water. But the water in the calabash, a boat cannot sail without water. And the water in the calabash indicated that, all right, the boat is on, a, the boat becomes like a vessel, and it sails with water. Mm -hmm. Not only that, the water in the calabash are, are mostly used for the quietness of the presence of God. In other words, what you normally do is you water the field mm -hmm. with the water in the calabash, indicating, all right, indicating that there is a calmness, all right, there is a gentleness, and there is a humility 
in the house of God. In our faith, water is just as you one way we want to say. What is life? What is to generate the energy? Number one, for blessing. Number two, to revive yourself, your spirit. And when you feel like all is lost, and you were to get, whether it's sprinkled, where there's three sips of water, it revives you. It's just as a baby would survive and could only survive in the womb of the mother, in the water bath. It comes right back to water is life. So it starts from the womb straight over to the tomb. There are souls among us, there are people among us who are, are dying in their situation. And sometimes, um, as you said, we give them water to drink. It quenches thirst, it brings renewal, it refreshes the, the, the spirit man. It, 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 it brings hope. Water is very, very significant because it's the very water um, that we get baptized in. It, it may be in, in, in a bigger quantity, but it, 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 it's still water representing that death, that death to sin, and that rising in the newness or the new life of Christ. It has all fractions of water. It has the salt water, which is in the sea and the Baltic Ocean, the Atlantic and the Pacific and the Caribbean. We have the rivers, the lakes, mm -hmm. and, the, and the falls. Mm -hmm. And the falls. And then we have the water of the earth, which we exist in. Right now we are in water. Mm -hmm. Right now as we speak, yeah. we are in water, in a light form, mm -hmm. where we could function and breathe in, which we call air. Mm -hmm. It's a light water. So back about 20, 25 years ago, mm -hmm. there was a guy doing a lot of work mm -hmm. on water. A guy called Imoto, yes, Japanese, Ma Massimo and, Imoto. Yes, and yeah. he came to some really, really interesting discoveries. Mm -hmm. If you have water and you freeze the water, mm -hmm. if the water is pure, yes, you know, you put it on a flat thing so you could see it. Mm -hmm. It forms pretty, pretty hexagonal crystals. Yes. Or if you have lived abroad during the winter, when there's pure water coming out without smog, and you look at it, it forms all these really mm. precise, extremely precise, repeating shapes. Yes. Yeah, the hexagonal shapes. And, mm. you, and, you, and you look at it and you say, there must be some rhythm in the universe. Mm. Yes. Right? Divine order. Divine order. Yes. It forms a hexagonal shape, mm -hmm. which in terms of the theory of numbers, forms your three dimensions, time, mm -hmm. your future five, uh -huh. And then the space that that operates, which is six. Okay. So you have, you have three dimensions, but you have six directions of space. Right. In order to, in order to, for, for life to exist, it mm -hmm. has to be in three dimensions. For, for you to know where you are, you have to define it in a certain amount of directions. Mm -hmm. And all those directions must pass through you. Mm -hmm. So you could define where you are mm -hmm. relative to everything else. That's the magic number six. Now, when six moves forward relative to your consciousness, mm -hmm. and how do you know that it, re that it moves forward? Should you measure the, the passage of time? No? It was time. You have to know and to read time without a clock. Mm -hmm. Read time without a clock. 60 minutes, one hour. 60 seconds, one minute, one minute. And you could get up and say, now it's about 25 past three. And when you look at the clock, it's 25 past three. Mm -hmm. On this planet that you live to survive on, you have to know time without seeing time. Mm -hmm. How do you know it's morning? The, the procession of the, the heavenly bodies, which is really the sun. You're you getting all kinds of technical things. The sun. The oh. sun comes up over the horizon. Yeah. And according to its progress during the sky, yeah. we define that as time. Yeah. 
So we are taking our six directions of space, mm -hmm. which we have located where we're standing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we use something that is moving mm -hmm. to give us a perception of time. Not only does it give us a perception of time, mm -hmm. it also gives us a reference because it also brings light. And they say they call him the, um, the, the face of the earth was dark, mm -hmm. no problem. And then they call light, which is the great understanding. It was always light, but it had the dark side. But we call the light as the great understanding. We'll be trying to figure out here mm -hmm. what's happening. We are in water. Mm -hmm. Right now it's, it's water. Yes. It's water here. Yeah. It's water. And we function it very nicely in water. Mm -hmm. What is a nice thing? Three quarter of us is. Water. That is why we could function as the fish in the ocean. But this is our ocean by itself. Mm -hmm. Right. The sun brings light. Yes. And we are bodies of light. Yes. And the medium which we, as a bodies of light, act with the sun, which is an a exudation of light, mm -hmm. is via water. We have, uh, as consciousness, mm -hmm. an intimate connection to things. But the only thing that would store energy Mm -hmm. easily and make use of that energy from the sun is okay. water right so water holds the charge water holds the charge once it holds the light yeah um then you find that it it, so it generates life yes it generates the energy of life okay right it is interesting that if you are in a spiritual baptist ceremony mm -hmm. and they've brought the spirit yeah which is the energy of light yeah. into the system yeah. and it begins to get out of hand. What do I mean by out of hand? That is so intense that most that people can't take it. Yeah, yeah. They'll they, 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 yeah, they, yeah, they start yeah. to Overwhelm there. Right. So what do they do? What do they do to stop it? A mother would get up and take a glass and drop three drops of water. Sprinkle some water. Yeah, so yeah, they take yeah, this thing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and immediately it goes shh. Quiet it down, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Once in a while yeah, it doesn't, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you, you say, all right, you yeah. need water. Uh -huh. Now, what Mr. Emoto did mm -hmm. is he took some water. He was different from other people. Mm -hmm. And he put his hand over the water and he imagined all kind of dark and nasty thoughts. Yes. Right? And yeah. then he took the water and he froze it. Yeah. And it didn't make proper shapes. It re it basically, it, it took the charge. It lost rhythm. It took the charge that he had, yeah. which was against the, 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 the yeah. aspect of life. Yeah. And I should put it and say, loving life. Yeah. Right? And so it came out distorted. Mm -hmm. He took the same water, yeah. and he took it out, melted it back, and this time he put feelings of love and things like that in mm -hmm. it, and he froze it again. Right. And all the, all the things came out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So he came to the conclusion that water absorbs energy from around it. Shucks, even the spirits are no respect when you charge water and you sprinkle. Yes. Right? Holy water. Yes. Because in the Catholic Church, when you're going to do a demonic possession yeah. and you take your thing with holy water yeah, yeah, and, and, and you do so and you wet the person, boom, boom, and you say, come on. Yeah. It comes out. It comes yeah. out. He said, don't, don't wet me with that. It's burning. Yeah. Yes. So obviously, it has spiritual power. It has yeah. material power. Yeah. We stay healthy by coming home, at least most of us, mm -hmm. and bathing. I used to wash off all the slime and the gunk mm -hmm. and things like that. That we collect during the day. Yeah. That we collect during the day. Yeah. So we, we come to the conclusion that water is the, the bringer of life. Yes. So therefore, water is a connection between God mm -hmm. and us, spiritually. Yes, yes, I, I, I can see it. Yes. I can see it? Yeah, I can see it. So yeah. therefore, it means that we really should be careful with it. We should be careful to try and keep it as pure as possible. Yes. If you're going to do any religious ceremony, it is obvious that you should have water. Right. As an expression of a connection between you and the creative force. Right. We now understand that all religions 
when they're having any kind of ceremony, any kind of ritual, mm. always have water. water. Yes. And water is an expression of continuity of life between us and the Creator. Yes. Jesus is the water of life. Mm -hmm. And in everything, be it worship, be it nature, mm -hmm. God begins with water. And so we begin our service by watering the field. Mm -hmm. We call it watering the field. Mm -hmm. We throw water in the corners mm -hmm. and then to the center. Meaning that Almighty God is the beginning and the end. He is the be all and end all in this place. When you are deeply involved or you are deeply connected with the Holy Spirit, some people are musicians in the spirit. And what normally happens is they do not play music of themselves, but they hear music. And when music comes to them, they play just what they hear. They do what they hear. They sing exactly what they hear. And that brings a different vibration all entirely. And through that, they can do wonders. Miracles can happen. All right, healing can take place. Yes, they has a vibration that they can be connected. They can con be connected to another person. All right, two persons could be in connection, one with another, playing sweet music, and we'll have the whole congregation on fire. The Bible says, you know, when you baptize, you baptize with the fire and the Holy Ghost. There's one that comes out of this room, but the Father will most. And that is the time then you will, that you will know that the Holy Ghost is something that is true and natural. Let me just say, praise and worship ought to bring to any congregation or any gathering an energy that is going to be joyous, number one, satisfactory to your spirit, your inner spirit, and that you will stay focused on all the positive so that the negative during that period of time that you may be praying and worship, nothing sets you off. You're deep into prayer and worship on top of that. The rhythm comes with a feeling. The person that may be the moderator or maybe the, the bishop or the pastor that's carrying on, he first must be able to feel out the congregation. And when he feels out the congregation, he then would be directed with an anointing on him to bring this rhythm in such a way that it would capture, capture everybody's attention and they be part of and want to be part of. It brings a joy, it brings a, it brings a, it brings a, 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 a true feeling of, of, of a oneness with God because he created us to pray and to worship him.
solfeggio frequency. What I have just played there is what in music is referred to as a scale, a diatonic scale, a major scale. We know it as do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do, that kind of stuff. We know it as the sulfur scale. Actually, the beginning of this scale, the historical beginning of the scale, begins with an old song to John the Baptist, who, as we know, is very important in Christianity and very important in the emergence of the Baptist faith. I am happy that you have decided to examine this aspect of music, this aspect of the history of the Christian church, this aspect of the history of the Baptist faith. If I am to begin this discussion with a reason as to why it's an important discussion, perhaps I should start elsewhere. Citizens of Trinidad and Tobago would remember and must remember the history of the steel ban. Incidentally, it is not known. But quite what seemed to be quite an uneventful development helps to explain the creation of what is one of the most remarkable musical instruments in the world today. Citizens of African descent experimenting with steel drums created an instrument based on what in music is called the circle of fourths and the circle of fifths. Circle of fourths and the circle of fifths. Fourth is the distance that you are in music in terms of note from the tonic note. That's the note that is the central note of the song or the melody of the song. And a fifth is a distance a degree higher uh, than a fourth, you know, from the tonic. That is a scientific, dis scientific discovery of tremendous importance. But no one recognized it. They thought that the steel band musicians were doing what in Trinidad balance would be termed nonsense, or in global balance termed nonsense. The reality is, of it is that because of that musicality of the instrument and that musicality of that discovery, the pan has become internationally one of the most significant instruments for teaching music and to teaching the circle of fourths and the circle of the cycle of fourths and the cycle of fifths. And it's a clear indication that in societies like ours, people make significant or achieve significant things, things of great import, and it is not recognized by the society because they simply are not aware or, or do not know what is involved. The same thing holds for the Baptist faith. The Baptist faith is not based on the whims and fancies that people associate with the faith, but it carries with it some very deep and significant relationships which are not known. In the Baptist faith, you used to sing like, you used to sing by music, whereby now you sing anything, and everybody comfortable with that. For instance, like, all right, in the Baptist faith, independent Baptist, we have things like short meter, or London Baptist, same things, long meter, seven, seven, sevens, all right, common meter, and all these sorts of things, all right? And you find out you don't hear it anymore. For instance, okay, like, somebody going to sing a long meter, all right, and I will sing like, you know, Jerusalem, my happy home. In long meter, and I will sing it like, Jerusalem, my happy home. Name day to me. If 
define that as a long meter, all right? For instance, you sing like a common meter, and you don't hear people singing this again, all right? I will sing like, all right, a shah should keep I up in common meter. A charge to keep I have, a God to glorify, in ever-dying soul to save, that fitted for the sky. That's a common meter, all right? You find you don't find people singing this again, you know. All right, and these are the songs that I had known from small, and, and you know I, I I still try to, you know, to, to bring it into the faith. I, I, I pray God that it wouldn't get weeded out. Understand this well, because I still run the manual under some of these songs. I teach the young people them it. You understand? Because I believe it is something worth the while. When you under pressure, and you under stress. And you under real, 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 real chaos. Understand this way. Especially, especially with the test of the world and the weight is upon your shoulder. And you feel that here will happen. There is no other way to turn to. It's a joy to sit quiet in a corner, you know, and sing, My times are green. Thy hands My God I wish Them day My life My friends My soul I
that's long meter. It's a joy to sit down in a corner and sing this. When you finish singing this, regardless of how deep your problems are, regardless of how heavy the burdens are, I believe that you get lifted. You will be lifted out of it. These songs have power. These songs have purposes. These songs carries its own remedy with it. Mm -hmm. Understand this way. Mm -hmm. And I believe that in every one of these songs from the long time days has deliverance. There are deliverance. I can prove it. I, I know it happened to me. And I could say it with a bold assurance. Yes, there is deliverance. But it all depends on how you implement it. The scale, the musical scale to which I refer was created as a hymn to John the Baptist. Okay, as a special hymn to John the Baptist, and it was based on notes of a scale called sol the solfeggio scale. Each note carries a certain frequency. In music, notes carry frequency. That's the frequency of their vibration. And these scales, to which I refer, there were six of them. Okay, the major scale that we know carries uh, seven, so one was added over time later on, and that is our contemporary reality now. But these six notes each had a particular purpose. This is the Baptist faith we are talking about. And this is the scales that they use, and each note, okay, had a particular frequency at the time when the hymn was created, and each note had a particular purpose related to the spirituality of the individual and the community. Now, the first note, right, carried 396 kurtz, 396 kurtz, that's level of frequency, and it was about removing guilt and fear, liberating the individual from guilt and fear. Second note, Undoing situations and facilitating change. Positive change. The third note, transformation and miracles. And what in today's world of biology and biochemistry will be called DNA repair, re repairing the, the, the deoxyribonucleic fabric of, of, of the human body or the animal form. And the fifth note, had to do with connecting relationships. And the next note had to do with expressions and solutions to problems. And the other notes had to do returning to spiritual order, bringing in the right spiritual order. In singing these notes, human beings endear themselves to God. Short not. Target against me, Lord, but let me enter in. That's a short meter, all right? Okay, you have like seven, 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 all right? Seven, seven, seven to sing like um. There were ninety and nine, that was every day in the shelter of. The fall, but one was out on the hills away, far off from the gates of war. Oh, that's a seven, seven, seven. Mm -hmm. right? So you have the different, you know, and it's a joy. Oh. It's a joy to sit down and, you know, sing these hymns. Um, that's either say something, sometimes it's a gift from God, mm -hmm. not from man, because um, if man could get that, you wouldn't have it. They would keep it for themselves. But God gave that gift according to the measure of your faith. All right. you, you know, because we learn that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things have not yet seen. Come as for instance, I just lie on my bed and, and the words have just come. Because I could remember fully well, 14 years ago, I was out on the ocean and I up on the derrick latching the pipe and I sit down when in my spare time and I will just start to sing, Jesus, Jesus. All the way, and then words does come. Jesus just put the words. He said, "Open your mouth, and He will fill it with good things." And I will start. Jesus, Jesus, all the way. Hallowed be Thy name. 
Jesus, Jesus, all the way, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. Ye Lord, ye Lord, hallowed be thy You know, the words have just come. Yes. You know? Well, the words are powerful words. Sometimes we sing a hymn and we just sing the hymn. Mm -hmm. Like, um, the word of eternal life. And it have different air you to sing it, even now. I heard the voice of Jesus say. Then you sing it again. I heard the voice. Different, different arm, you know. Mm -hmm. um, is, is. And when you sing it sometimes, the, 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 the Holy Spirit move. It move. It move the people in the church. Not everybody, but you see some people rock according to the hymn you sing. The, the Spirit move them. According to the hymn and according to the air you sing the hymn in. Sometimes some people really sing a hymn in an in a air that is it, it, it have you puzzle. You know, they raise it, but you cannot get, get the pitch with them. You just come and raise it now. Somebody go raise. Jesus, you love. And I will come. Jesus, you love. For instance, I went to a funeral not too long and they singing little thing, little thing, so I fold my arm and I listening. I singing with them. But when they, they stop and they couldn't get nothing to sing again, I start to sing. Good evening, my brethren. How are you this evening? Halle, 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 hallelujah. Good evening, my brethren, I hope. How are you this evening? Halle, 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 hallelujah. I hope to see and meet with you on the judgment morning. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Good evening, my brethren. How are you this evening? Halle. Good evening, my brethren. I ask, how are you this? Oh, Lord. Halle, 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 halle. Halle, halle. Good evening, my brethren. I ask, how are you this evening? Halle, halle. I don't know if I'll see you, may the Lord Almighty bless you. Halle, who are you? Halle, halle. Halle, halle. Halle. Oh Lord! Halle, halle, Good evening, my brethren. I ask, how are you this evening? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good evening, my brethren. I ask, how are you this? Oh Lord! Jesus, I know. You come in and pray in and I wait in Halle. 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 Good evening, my brethren. I am how are you this? Oh Lord. I don't know about tomorrow, but tonight I could say hello. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good evening, my brethren. I ask, how are you this? Oh, Lord. Jesus, I don't know what you do, but all I know, I love you. Halle. 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 Good evening, my brethren. I ask, how are you this? Oh, Lord. I hope to see and meet with you on that judgment morning. Jesus, Jesus, only way. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, only way. Ooh. 
Let me hear you say, Jesus, Jesus, all the way to Rome. Jesus, Jesus, all the way. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, do not. Let me hear you say, Jesus, Jesus, all the way to me. Jesus, Jesus, only way. Jesus, you are the rock in the weary land, Lord. Jesus, you are the shelter in the time of storm. Let me hear you say, Jesus, Jesus, oh Lord. Jesus, Jesus, only way. Jesus, you are the lily of the valley. Jesus, you are the bright and the morning star, Lord. Let me hear you say, Jesus, Jesus, my Lord. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, Lord. Let me hear you say, Jesus, Jesus, oh, God. Jesus, Jesus, only way. Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, you are the rock in the weary land, Lord. I know you are the child in the time of storm. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, do that. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Now, Baptist people are known for humming these chants, these notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when they sing them in harmony, it, it does even more. It is believed to be even more. What I'm saying here is not a religious thing. This is something that scientists have found to be particularly significant for human development, for refreshing the spirit, for enlightening the spirit, for giving positive, positivity to life. And all of these concepts can be proven scientifically. You, you can find these concepts on the internet. You can find these concepts in books. The point is, our society is not aware. Because like most things in our reality and our history, we are given to what I term surface relationships. We, we are not digging deeply. Um, we are not given to really searching ourselves for worth. And we are perhaps more critical than analytical. And therefore, what you have is the demeaning and disparaging of virtually sound and meaningful, you know, characteristics of of faith, of music, of culture. And a society cannot develop unless it begins to know itself. This is not about, essentially, I'm saying this is not about the Baptist faith. This is about understanding ourselves. This is about understanding our society. This is about understanding religiosity, spirituality, culture. This is just an example. When you first initiated, or you're coming through the passage, because some born Baptists, eh? and then it have who hear the preaching by the word and want to be a Baptist. You don't condemn those that coming in because you reach far. You have to give them the right of passage to come. And from the right of passage to come in, that is your baptism. They initiate you. You're coming the right of passage. Before you reach in, they have a bench. So Ma will mark the bench, or Pa will mark the bench, and they put you on, and you're called a repentance bench. In the repentance bench, they're giving you a right of passage to come. And they start, to, when they put you to sit down, you say, open your, your hands. And you open your hands like that. And when you open your hands, 
they start to drill you. They make you push your hand first, and they sing in, and they make you push your hand. Now watching how your movement, how you're going. If you're going so, she would know well. You're coming in like ice cream, and you're ready. You're ready for the journey, because some just do so and so and so, and with, and you're kind of, are kind of lazy. But when they see you doing so, they move your foot to suit your hand movements, so you do so. And the first thing they learn you to do is to groan. The first thing that's the that's the first thing you learn to do is to groan. Mm. And you have to come right through with that groaning. That is your first adoption. You have to learn before you get into the real spiritual baptism. That's your first adoption. The groaning. When you groan, you sometimes you entertain uh, as, as one of the saints of God. The, you groan, groan in the spirit. Because you remember when Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick. He groaned in the spirit and the word say he was troubled. He groaned. Because Jesus know the meaning when you groan. And he know the language of your tool. You know, so groaning is, is, is wonderful in the church. When somebody groan, you just feel like you, you, know, you feel different. Like a, a, a sense of God moving, moving the congregation. Not everyone does feel it. It have some will feel, some will see, some will hear. Diversities of gifts, different gifts, but all of the same spirit. Deduction is another level. Prayer and worship is, will come under the umbrella of rejoicing. Mm -hmm. When we get into adoption, that goes over to another level. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that comes from leaving prayer and worship. And then you transcend into something, into another phase mm -hmm. of the whole the divine spirit, where you're going to hear different groaning and different um, um, doctrines coming to you. And you would hear it coming from the mouth of the practitioners. Mm -hmm. And you may hear it in different ways. You may even hear uh, uh, coming from a voice sounding like if it's a drum with a, with a goat skin on it. Mm -hmm. And that comes from inside. That comes from under the earth. It comes from your feet into your tummy, right into your stomach. That's how it is. We, the Bible speaks about murmuring and grooming. Mm -hmm which cannot be uttered any other way. Mm -hmm. You can't put words to it, mm -hmm. but we just grow on mm -hmm. as we get the inner feeling. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit leads us in that way. to God mm -hmm. I'm crying out to him mm -hmm. how else could I say that but with groaning mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. by murmuring and groaning with words that cannot be uttered. But it's a deep seated feeling, inner feeling. No, in our Baptist arena is the 
whole of the planetary system that we live in, that we're dealing with. And in the planetary system, it has different nations on this planet, as we say. And we would call the yellow man the Chinese man. We later call him so for this one to know exactly what we say, or this one here could know exactly what we say. We would say, I went to India. We had to say that for you to know, well, it's India we went. Let me say we went to Arabia. And we had to say that for you to get to understand, well, Arabia. But the real spirit man, let me say spirit man, no. That is the vibrations you can, of the planet, you can maneuver. You could maneuver them with vibrations. So we, vibration is in our groaning. Because when you come in, that is what we teach in ABC. What I just said ABC. But when you start to move up to understand the real vibration and the sound of the vibration, you moving in to a different realm. The spirit like saying, Keep clap clapping, baby. But he, oh, baby, oh, baby, he, 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 oh, baby, oh, that's a different realm of the planetary system. You have that. You have to read so they know. Well, hello, she going in there to Africa. There's a bit of the rhythm. A bit of the rhythm to go into different countries. When we have to call it countries, eh? For we to get to understand it. But that is the realm of the spirit. When you're going to India, you know, put in that beat. You don't put in the beat. The beat is a different beat altogether. So go on here. So according to the beat, you know where you're heading. And you overall, when you finish, they say when you finish the work. The pan man say when you finish the work. You leave this planet and you're going to a planetary system. But you have to understand this one here. Well, I believe that um, when, we call, when you talk about adoption, that the spiritual Baptist uses, I believe that, you know, the, the, the psalmist said, the earth is the Lord and his fullness thereof. All right, and the sun comes from the earth. Mm -hmm. All right, you communicate with the earth, and when you communicate with the earth, you get a sun. Mm -hmm. The vibration comes from the earth, which is the fullness of God. Mm -hmm. All right, and when that comes to you, it takes you to a different level. Mm -hmm. You feel different in body. Mm -hmm. All right, Some, sometimes again, you feel that you're not touching. You, you're in atmosphere, you're moving through like on thin air, you understand. You just, you just feel well, all right. You just don't have wings, but you can fly. Mm -hmm. Simply because it brings you a joy. Mm -hmm. It brings you a, 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 an upliftment. It, let, it tells you that here, we're you are in communication with the Father. You are in communication with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit are guiding you at that point in time. Mm -hmm. So during the course of that, you find you will have a lot of exchange of words. Simply because... You will speak words that you of yourself cannot interpret. You wouldn't know what it is all about. But the only person that can interpret that is God, all right? And you, the person who speak in it, God will unfold it for you. As according to the word of God, 
Come, let us reason together, said the Lord. And then he said, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Because unity is strength. So worship is, is that, you know, you, 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 you feel. I love them to feel the way you're walking. You mustn't feel that way when you're going out. You must feel different. You must feel like a Lord live. You must feel light. You know, that is um, the purpose. You know, you worship God in spirit and in truth. Come in, 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 Bye-bye. 